The Hopkinton Youth Commission, in partnership with the Hopkinton Freedom Team and HCAM, hosted virtual Martin Luther King Day festivities this past Monday. Part of the program included a talk on unity and peace with Hippolyte. Hello, I'm Dawn, and I'm the director of Hopkinton Youth and Family Services. And I'm Cheryl Perrault. I'm a member of the Hopkinton Freedom Team. And so is Dawn, and we're here together to talk a little bit about this talk with Hippolyte today. In his talk, Hippolyte refers to the Rwandan genocide. And, um, and that, that can be a triggering topic when you hear the details of his talk. Um, genocide might not be a term known to everyone who comes across this video. It's the deliberate killing of a large number of people from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. So you might wonder, how does this relate to Martin Luther King and, and why King Jr. and why did we have this as part of our, our talk? Um, we've been planning this since November and we're so excited to bring it to you. And I'm, I'm gonna have Cheryl take it away about how she knows Hippolyte and learned of him and his incredible work. Yes, um, I met and heard uh, Hippolyte uh, performing his art in Massachusetts uh, over a year ago now. And he had come from Rwanda as part of a program in Boston called the International Arts in Residence with Arts Connect. And he was one of their uh, recipients of that program, which is a great honor. And he gave a speech and contributed some of his uh, art to the overall program where other young people and leaders from around the world also were there to talk about their art and why it's important. Assalamu alaikum, shalom, namaste, and good day to all our viewers. First of all, I would like to extend my thanks to the Hopkinton Freedom Team to participate in Islamic Schools Annual Interfaith MLK Day. Today, we are honored to have a guest speaker, Hippolyte Nigurirwa, who is an artist, researcher, and founder of Be the Peace. That is an organization focused on promoting cross-generational healing and halting the intergenerational transmission of hate. My name is Ipolite Nigurwa, like they said. I am a survivor of the genocide carried out against the Tutsi in Rwanda in 1994. Many people from my family were killed in front of me. My father was killed and left to the dogs to eat. And I never even had a chance to bury him. I survived by hiding under dead bodies in mass graves, but I always expected to be killed. I was only seven years old. And during the genocide, I also was made a child slave for the killers who made us do many work for them. HCAM also hosted a special edition of the Hangout Hour featuring members of the Hopkinton Freedom Team and the Hopkinton Youth Commission. Now, traditionally, as we know, this has been a big deal in town and COVID-19 has kind of blown in this last year and all kinds of different things are happening. So we're going to talk with some people who have been involved and we're going to see what they're doing today. So I'd like to welcome everybody. And if you could please just first introduce yourselves in case somebody doesn't know you. Start with Dawn. Hi, everyone. I'm Kathleen Dinsmore, and I am the founder of the Hopkinton Freedom Team and the facilitator. Hi, everyone. My name is Chris Ocampo. I am uh, one of the assistant principals at Hopkinton Middle School. I'm Alindra Canty, and I am on the Youth Commission as well as the Freedom Team. Um, today, we're here on this call, but also we have a number of additional kind of activities that are online and pre-recorded for um, people to take in short bursts. So 
their six, seven minute videos. Um, the um, South Asian Circle of Hopkinton put out an excellent video, video by a middle schooler, which includes interviews with, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Gandhi, um, uh, uh, obviously Martin Luther King, and what was the other one? I forget Nelson, who the other one was. Nelson Mandela. And Nelson Mandela. I mean, once again, it's 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 about seven minutes, but it's worth every minute to watch it. And really, it's been it was really eye opening and a wonderful thing to see. Um, another student at the Hopkinton High School, who was part of the National Honor Society, put together um, a very short video. It's maybe five minutes of one of Nels of one of um, Martin Luther King Jr.'s most famous speeches. Um, but it's 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 really great for you know, people to be able to sit down and just watch it, even if it's just five minutes out of their day and think about what the day means. And then last but not least is um, something that we posted to our Hopkinton Unites um, agenda on our Facebook page. And that would include the uh, information around um, the letter from Martin Luther King in Birmingham jail. And um, if you have not taken the moment to read the letter, it is definitely probably one of the most moving ones that I'd ever read. Lynn brought it to me this year. I had not read it before. Um, I'm fairly active in diversity, inclusion, and equity within my own life outside of Hopkinton. I was very surprised I'd never seen it before. And it was definitely something that moved me to the core. Personally, I think it's it's really a time of reflection um, and how far we've, we've come as a country uh, and as, I guess, a race and moving forward, how, how much more work we have to continue doing. Um, one of my favorite quotes that is, is by Dr. King, and he says, our lives begin the, to the day we become silent about things that matter. And I can't help but think of uh, 2020 and really all of the things that have happened that relate to all the work that he's done and, um, and just really reflect on how much work we still have to continue doing. Um, and being silent is, is not the answer and having these conversations to be able to move forward is something that I, I, I want to continue doing. And I think, uh, Dr. King, King has really told us we can't stay silent about some of these difficult things that we have to continue working on. You can view both of these programs in full at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.